Some 400 Army National Guard soldiers with the 1st Battalion Airborne are deploying to Afghanistan from Camp Mabry tonight. The soldiers will protect other military groups, helping the Afghan people rebuild and establish a stable government. Jacqueline Inglaze went to the deployment ceremony and has the story. 400 paratroopers stationed at Camp Mabry are parting ways with their families to spend a year in Afghanistan. 11-month-old Gracie Broyles won't get to spend the holidays or her first birthday with her dad, but with this doll that looks like him. Is that daddy? Is that daddy? <laughs> These troops are heading to Indiana to undergo 10 weeks of training before heading overseas. Once in Afghanistan, they'll protect other government workers already there that are trying to establish a stable government and teach Afghanis how to run a city. One of the things that, uh, that is, it makes it dangerous, some of these areas in which we're going into, is literally the wild, wild west. Many provinces are not settled and are without leaders, order, and even common fixtures like stoplights and running water. McGrath is facing these dangers with a family member by his side. His nephew, specialist Brian McGrath, is deploying with him. It's comforting. Uh, I know he's a good commander. But don't think Brian will be getting any VIP treatment. He's, he's one of my soldiers. He's, he gets no special favorites. While McGrath can watch his loved one up close, all of these families will be left hoping, praying, and showing their support from afar. Hey, buddy. I want to make a sign for my daddy because I love him very much. This is the third or fourth deployment for most of these troops. And while it doesn't make the deployment easier, families and troops know how to better deal with being apart. At Camp Mabry, Jacqueline Inglis, KXAN News. Broyles plans to get together with other military wives once a month, and they'll put together care packages that will remind the troops of home.